Welcome back, everybody. We're doing some creative cooking today with Chef Lori because that's what it takes to survive feeding the family during back to school time. Good morning to you, Chef Lori. Good morning. So I know that we're all rushed at this time, any any week, really. And so what I'm trying to do is give you guys some tips of what we can do to make something on the weekend and use it later. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to talk about some other things, but today we're starting with salmon, okay? It's a favorite in my house, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it the way that I like. And then um, the recipe is on my Facebook site, and then we're going to turn it into some other things, okay? So here is the salmon. It's a grilled salmon, and what I do is I like I have a cast iron grill pan, in case I don't want to go outside. Two minutes olive oil, salt, and pepper on there. Two minutes on the presentation side down first, okay? So it looks pretty, oh, okay. right? And then okay. you can flip it, I flip it over, put it in a sheet pan, put it in the oven 400 degrees for another like eight to 10 minutes, oh. depending on how thick it is, and it's done. And you leave the skin on for that crispiness, yes, right? Yes, yeah. yes, So, And you don't have to, you can do whatever you want, but it comes right off, so that's fine. Okay. And then, um, so that's, that will be done, and I love that. And I'll make a whole sheet pan full because what do I do then with the leftovers? Well, one thing that I do is right here, I just package up a lunch. And how great is that in the morning when oh, your lunch convenient. is ready, right? So here's that. Here's the vegetables that I made with it. And I made something in the Instapot because I didn't want everything in the oven. So that's some quinoa. So that is a great way to start. So it's if I know I'm getting up in the morning, I got my lunch ready, that's a good no thing. No excuses right? to have, right. go have that burger. The other <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I do is salad in a jar, and sometimes mm -hmm. I'll prepack those, you know, like three days in advance, and I'd use the salmon in there, and um, somebody had a question. Mm -hmm. what I was like, that what's was? the pink stuff? I right? thought the same <laughs> thing. So that's beet hummus, and a lot of times I'll use hummus instead of a dressing, because I just like it. Mm -hmm. But So again, now's the time to hit your farm markets, right? There's fresh yeah. beets out there, fresh veggies. I got that purple cauliflower out there, just wonderful, right? So Yum. I put a bunch of vegetables. And I pack it in tight, and the, all the lettuce is on top. And then you can you can try to eat it out of the jar. A lot of times I throw it out anyhow. I put it on a plate, you know, sure, sure. and then eat it that way. So the other thing that I like to do is make cakes. So mm -hmm. we're going to make salmon cakes. So I'm we're going to get gonna, started. Yep. So we're going to throw it all in there. How many pieces of salmon is this? Okay, so that usually about two. Okay, okay so it's about two cups. You just flaked right. it up after it was cooked. Yep, and put everything in everything there. Everything in. Okay. Yep, just go ahead and throw everything in there. This is onions. onions. Yep. These are peppers, red peppers. Yeah, just for color and flavor. I love Ooh, red peppers. Yeah. What is this? Right? Uh, parsley. Oh. Okay. okay. And isn't that, it's looking pretty even Can you just get that well, at the right? farmer's market too? What's that, parsley? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Regular standard issue mayo here? Right. Okay. Right. Is this a Dijon mustard? Dijon, which okay. everybody should have because yes. that adds so much oh, flavor yes, to okay. everything, right? And then we're going to mix should that mix up. mix this up first? And okay. then when she's done, to try to keep that crispness in there, we're going to put the breadcrumbs in last. You can also use flour. You can use gluten-free crackers if you want. Just grind them up real small. Mm. Yeah. That's so. the binder, right? It's going to bind yes. it all together. Yes. Yes. And that, right. that egg will help with that too. And now she throws that in. Very good. And so the other thing is I have on my Facebook site <laughs> this recipe for the sriracha mayo. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to put that on here. And how pretty is that? Oh gosh. It looks right? so gourmet. I love it. Right. And you can get these for a dollar at the store. Okay. Yeah. So, Whoop, there you had, you had a tip though for oh, even, yeah. even cooking to take a measuring so, cup. So because you want them all about the same size. So I have. Easy. Right. And then you pound it out. Sorry, it will come out. We believe you. <laughs> and then Got you it. have them about the same size. Yeah. And then you can go ahead. You Just do, squash you them down a little bit? Yep, yep, yep. That's what I did there. Okay. Yep. But that way they all cook evenly. Then and you're going to have there. the salmon cake recipe yes, too? Yes, it's up. Nice. I put it up this morning. It's already there. It's She's there. so it's organized. There. But okay. also, Lori, we're, did we put up the um, meal planning fillable? Oh, uh, yeah. And it just, where, where can we get that? Think it ahead. Again, at my Facebook site. Okay. okay. And you can download it. And it just helps so much if you think ahead. What can I make before the week that I can have some extra to make a couple of nights easier? Okay. Yes. Very All good. Right. Thanks for being here. Great Thank idea, you. Chef Lori. Okay. We'll be right back.